I'm really excited. People on the grassroots level are getting involved more and more. And it's all because of YouTube uh, influencers getting out there, sharing and spreading the word, everybody grouping together and getting as much information as we can because mainstream media is not doing the job. It's great to be here. Um, so I'm watching these YouTube guys after Rush Limbaugh died. I'm ready to announce him. To try to find the truth. Look at all these people. And uh, can you believe spending this? hours watching these guys. And I, I started finding a the truth with Nick Mosita, the Hizzy, Q, Ken Khan. And, um, yeah. Thank you. I love you too. Thank you guys. It's such an honor to be here. It really is. And uh, believe it or not, I'm terrified of public speaking. You know, I can do a live stream with people thousands of people watching, but I'm yep. in my room, you know, I don't see them. <laughs> so coming here, it's a, a little terrifying, but when Ken asked me to speak, I couldn't say no because these guys are my heroes. Really. I mean, Ken, Marilyn, Donald, Lisa, Tom, and all, and all of you guys. All of you guys are my heroes. And let me tell you something. I am mind blown at all the relationships I've formed of amazing people. Everybody has a story. Every single person here has a reason why they're fighting, why they showed up today. And every single person I've talked to inspires me and makes me feel like I have a responsibility to show up too. That's right. That's the, that's right. That's right. So I realized something that when I started making YouTube videos, I had uh, I just kept going on rants to my wife. I was like, listen, listen, this is this is what's happening. You got to wake up. This is what you know. and she got Poor tired. Wife. So I said, I need an outlet. Poor I have to go start talking First, about this. And I started bit. talking to a camera. I didn't know if anybody would watch. I didn't know if anybody felt like I did. I had no idea the amount of people who felt exactly like I did. Thank you. But you know what? Nobody was talking about it. The news is a propaganda machine. Mainstream media, they're yep, all sure corrupt. Is. They're all bought off and they won't tell you the truth. And so people think they're the minority. But yeah, you know not. what? We're it not. showed me making these videos and seeing the response and it just grow and take off and blow up. Over it overwhelms me. Yeah, there's the more thousands and thousands of people that I know are out there. Like but I've never seen them with my own eyes. Yep. And when I live stream, you are. guys on the, here you are. So <laughs> I'm getting to that. I'm getting to that. So when I live stream that select meeting. And uh, it was actually Donald and Lisa helped me out. People on the ground recording it. So give them a round of applause. I, uh, I, I saw them walk up to all these people outside of that, that building singing the national anthem. And I'm about to cry. You know, I just, it was the first time I seen it. They were out there. You know, and these are the people. Let me just say this. Everybody here. These are the people that are going to save the country. All of you guys. Because yep, rather see, than sitting home and I'm complaining saying? and feeling hopeless. People and don't realize they have them. the power. Nobody's going to do anything about it. Have the power. You said, I'm going to do something about sure it. Sure there is. And if everybody had your mentality, we'd win like that. And the cool thing is, it's growing every single day. Yep. You would think yep. that the further we get from November 3rd, the less people would show up, right? No. no. The opposite's happening. Every single day, this movement's yep. growing bigger and bigger. And let me tell you, that's their biggest fear, is unity. 
You know, when I saw the board of selectmen tell you guys you were irrelevant, yep. I felt like he was telling me I was irrelevant. Yep. And when I saw you stand up and turn your backs to your crooked, corrupt government, I felt like I stood up and turned my back. Yeah. So I want to thank you guys. Yeah. Anyways, okay. It motivated Woo. me. It motivated me. You know, like I said, I'm afraid of public speaking. I'm kind of shy. I'm an introvert. I, listen, I, you guys pushed me out of my comfort zone. So, yeah, you wouldn't you know did. it. So now I'm showing up. But I guess because there's a lot guys. of us like that. Yep. And yep. I'm going to keep showing up and keep showing up until we win. They pushed right. so hard and made us all so uncomfortable and disgusted with their corruption that you pushed just a little too hard and you woken up a sleeping giant. And you know what? There's, it's not going away. It's not going away and it ends now. We can't wait till 2024. Absolutely not. People that think we're stuck in the past, we're not stuck in the past. This is about the future. We have to have the freedom of speech and we have to have free and fair elections. I'm bringing a child into this world. My wife is pregnant. I love you. And, and I will fight and I will fight and I will fight so that he doesn't grow up in the world that they're trying to create. Amen. I'll do whatever it takes and I know you guys will too and that's how I know that we're gonna win. So I wanna thank each and every one of you for showing up today. Thank you for all your support. I love you guys. God bless you. God bless you. That's right. All right, man. See what I mean? That's Nick Moseder. So check him out. If you haven't subscribed to him, subscribe to him. It's really great to watch this guy in action. So anyway, I'd like to ask you to, to like, share, and subscribe to my channel too. And I'll just keep sending you more stuff. Talk to you later. Oh, my God.